Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Strong, Strong versus McLean. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Strong, you've summoned the defendant, Ms. McLean, to court to prove that your husband did not father her 14-month-old daughter, Angel. You say one month ago, Ms. McLean calls you out of the blue and claim Mr. Strong was her child's father and demanded he take care of her. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. McLean, you say your daughter is the product of a night of passion gone wrong and you are certain Mr. Strong is the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Strong, how did you and your husband land in court with a paternity dispute? Your Honor, a little over a year ago, me and Ms. McLean got together. We were friends, wanted to do something for our birthdays. Um, we had discussed doing a threesome, which it was something my husband had always wanted to do, and I figured if I did it with him, then... You and Ms. McLean got together to talk about this. Yes, Your Honor. For your birthdays. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> so we went back to our apartment and discussed it with Mr. Strong, and he was resistant at first, but it happened. We had some drinks, music was playing. We had a threesome, had a good time that night. We discussed everything beforehand of what, you know, possibilities could be. What possibilities? You know, if she did get pregnant, of which we were under the understanding she or there was a medical reason she couldn't. So, so, before you all had this threesome, you set parameters. Yes, Your Honor. What were the rules? Um, it would always be the three of us, never separately. If a baby came out of it, we'd raise it together, the three of us. Whoa. You all were this thorough? Yes, Your Honor. Did you get it in writing? <laughs> no, Your Honor. Mr. Strong, you were nervous at first. Yes, Your Honor. Why were you nervous? Because prior to our first couple months of our relationship, I had made a lot of bad decisions. And when she approached me with this conversation, I thought it was another setup. Oh, you thought it was a setup? <laughs> so you reluctantly agree? Yes, ma'am. And then what? I heard rumors about her being pregnant, but I was told it was her ex boyfriend. So wait, I want to understand after this night, you just had this one night, or was it more than one night? It was more than one night. More than one night. So you had more than one threesome? Yes, ma'am. How many more threesomes did you have? We've had a total of eight of them. Oh! <laughs> We've eight had times? eight of them since before my daughter's birth and after it. Total. Two and a half to three weeks after we had our very first threesome, I found out I was pregnant. And you said you had eight of them? Correct. So you were still having threesomes with them through your pregnancy? And after. Ooh. Okay. Mr. and Ms. Strong, when Ms. McLean came and told you she was pregnant, how did that conversation go? I asked her if it was my husband's child, and she told me no. I was in a relationship at that point in time. Oh, while you were having the threesomes with them, you were in a relationship yep. with somebody else? Yes. So did you assume it was his child? We were... I don't know how to explain it. We were a very a passionate couple, I guess. Mm-hmm. And we had intercourse a lot. So I'm not thinking, okay, maybe one or two times with them. No, eight. Wait, eight, but you... But oh, one or two times before you found out you were pregnant. Right. Gotcha. They would have been the dad. I thought my... The gentleman I was with at the time was the father, so I kept telling me, yeah, you're the dad. I, I mean, but he I wasn't the how... only possibility. Right, I told you that it was not his child. Okay, but she's not also mixed with African-American either. So, hold on, catch me up. What am I missing? The other possibilities are African-American men. And you don't believe Angel looks like she's African-American? Absolutely not. Not from the day she's But to born. be honest with you, a white person and a black person can still have a white baby. Well, no, they can't. They technically can, not to argue with you. Look I have up. mixed nieces and nephews. No. And... What, what they can have... <laughs> is an albino, is, but still... uh, ...is a biracial child. So what I will say, you are correct, Ms. McLean, that a black man and a white woman can make very fair-skinned children that appear almost white. That happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But Ms. McLean... You DNA tested the African-American man you were dating and it was determined that he was not Angel's biological father, right? Correct. 
So regardless of race, he's ruled out. Yes. So Mr. and Ms. Strong, when do you realize this could potentially be your baby, Mr. Strong's baby? I asked her when she was an infant and I seen her on the street and I was introduced to her for the first time. Were you there at the hospital when the baby was born? We didn't know the baby was born. We heard from a third party that she had had or we weren't even notified. And then a month ago, she sent me a message out of blue, needed my help with something and wanted Angel to have something to do with her dad. I said, what are you talking about? Z, hmm. I just met the baby a couple months ago. I was at work when they brought her to see me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So wait, I want to understand this. So now, Ms. McLean, there was some point where the table shifted. Once you had your boyfriend tested and he was not Angel's biological father, you then shifted to believing it was Mr. Strong's child? I did because, come like, in all reality, my daughter has a lot of Douglas's tendencies. Pulling on her ears when she's tired or she's frustrated, Douglas does that. His yabba dabba doo feet, the Flintstone feet that he has, my daughter has. His laugh, my daughter has that laugh. But my you daughter... had her tested as an infant. Why did we wait a year to find out she was a possibility? I did not have her tested as an infant. I had her tested April 10th of this year. Okay. With the other gentleman. But then you contacted us in June. There's like a whole gap there. I haven't been around either. We were going back and forth to Chicago to all the doctors for her eye. She has a problem with her eye. It's a hemangioma. Her blood vessels grow too quickly in her eye. My daughter was more important than even contacting them. So you said we'll deal with DNA issues later. Correct. Understood. But now you feel certain Mr. Strong is Angel's biological father. I do. So, Mr. and Ms. Strong, what type of relationship have you built with Angel? The, the day they, they brought the kid to my work and we started hanging out, um, I did go out and buy a bassinet and some other baby stuff. Like, she has clothes, food, toys, pretty much anything you could think of. I mean, I got it all within, like, 48 hours. And you spend time with her? Yes, ma'am. Readily and frequently? Whenever she brings her by, When I yes. get a chance to bring her by when I'm not going to the doctors myself. Or she calls me and says, hey, come pick us up. Yes. And you do that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And you're happy about that? Absolutely. She has siblings, if this is positive, and they already call her, her their sister. That's a beautiful princess. little girl. You opened this case because you said you don't believe. There's a 50-50 chance because I see a lot of features that could be mine, and then I also see a lot of features that aren't mine. See, I'm part Hispanic, so, I mean, there's not many redhead people in my family. I mean, I do have a little bit of Irish in me, but... I mean, I'm just trying to be certain because I did. I grew up without a father. So, I mean, if I am a father, I do want to be there for her. And so, you do believe that there is a possibility, but you are not 100% certain. Yes, ma'am. And I you just are... Want the reassurance that I am. And because you grew up without a dad, you don't want to continue that cycle. No, ma'am. And so, you have opened up your home and your hearts to this little girl. Yes, ma'am. And you as well, Miss Strong. That, Absolutely. That's... Absolutely. And, and it's because you knew openly that you were going into this threesome situation and you all obviously weren't being responsible and using any type of extra birth control. Well, because Ms. McLean thought she couldn't get pregnant again. She said she had an accident, which we knew about the accident that she couldn't have children from. That's what we looked at. Otherwise, we would have used other protection. And so once Angel got here, you said this innocent little baby deserves nothing less than our love and our support, and we welcome her into our family. Yes, Your Honor. My kids welcomed her with open arms, not even knowing. They treat her like that's their sister, no matter what. And it seems like you have less doubt than your husband. I look at the conception date. She's been telling me for, you know, a year that she's not. But I went back to the time of conception and... She didn't leave my bed that night, so... She didn't leave your bed? No. no. And she told us for a year that he wasn't the father, and that's the only reason we're here today. There would have been no question if she would have just came to us. This is something else. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time the three of you had a threesome? Two weeks ago. I would say two weeks and three days. She said two weeks, two weeks ago, and she said two weeks and three days. To be exact, <laughs> to be exact. two weeks and three days. Well, I hope you all are using protection now. 
Yo, you you smiling too? You no, real happy about station, it? But I'm also on two different birth controls. This is fun for you, huh? Mr. No, it is not fun for me at all. No, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the threesomes. <laughs> I'd rather him do it with me than behind my back. What'd you say? I'd rather him do it with me than behind my back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Before they made me look bad, this, most of the threesomes were her idea. They were. That's what I felt like. That, that's what they I'm were. saying. Like, before I get looked like a jerk or something, like... But every man has that thought in their head. <laughs> oh, so this is, is... This is getting interesting. So l- let me ask you this, Miss Strong, and this is just a question I want to know that has nothing to do with paternity, but I want to know. Mm-hmm. Are you engaging in the threesomes because it's something you really enjoy doing it... Doing? Or is it because you feel like my husband could go out there cheating and every man wants to be with another woman at some point, so I'll just keep it interesting right here in my bed and then I can control the situation. Exactly. And so if it's determined that Angel is your husband's biological child, what happens in your relationship? Does the dynamic get weird? What happens? No. I have absolutely no issue... Welcome but in this case, arms. the three of you are intimate and the baby was made with you in the bed. Yeah. I mean, a gift from God is how I'm going to look at her because I just had cancer removed a couple months ago. He's never going to have a biological child from me. Okay. So there are also some other medical issues yes, and ma'am. extenuating circumstances where you feel like you are not going to be able to give Mr. Strong any children. I know I can't after your medical issues. So if, in fact, this is his biological child, you welcome it because Ms. McLean would be able to give him the child you're unable to give him. Absolutely, and he would be able to have a son and a daughter, and that's all he's ever wanted. He treats my kids like they're his with no hesitation. So absolutely, I would take her in with open arms and raise her. He does it for me regardless if they were there before he was. We all three got together and made her together. We should raise her together. Very forward thinking. Jerome, this is a first. It certainly is. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so Miss McClain, what are your hopes today? Are you hoping Mr. Strong is Angel's biological father so you can have this blended family. This is a new blended family. Here, this is... This this is a new blend. I do hope that Douglas is Angel's father. I do hope that. So that way my daughter grows up the same way I grew up, with a mother and father. Whether we're together or not living in a house, my daughter will be able to see her father. I'm not... That's one thing I will not keep from her, is her dad. If, in fact, Mr. Strong is not Angel's biological. I'm not gonna cut him out of her life. Is there a real possibility he is not? No. Like, is there somebody else we haven't talked about today? No. So there's gonna be no surprises when I open this envelope? No. All right, Jerome, let's get the results. (laughs) These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Strong and Strong versus McLean. When it comes to 14-month-old Angel McLean, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Strong, you are not the father. I'm sorry to have to deliver that news, Mr. and Ms. Strong. It seemed like you were very happy at the thought of having Angel as your little girl. But unfortunately, you are not her biological father. Ms. McLean, I asked you, would there be any surprises? No. I know, but I, I didn't even know the fact that the gentleman did a DNA test with my daughter. Oh, so he did the testing on his own and just delivered the news to you that it was negative and he was not the biological father? Correct. And you just trusted that? Okay, it sounds like you need to go get a hold of him again. But whoever you were with, she deserves to know. I know she does. You and we got this, your back. You we're think going this to be doesn't there. We're going to tear be me friends. apart? 
Do you really think it does it? I know it does. Do you think I want my daughter not to know where her father is? No, I don't believe that at all. That's why we're here. No, but I didn't want to get attached to a kid that's not even mine. Ms. McClain, we're here for you as well. This is about Angel. We will administer the testing. We will help you find out who Angel's biological father is. She deserves to know. And I no, can see, does. as you talked about taking her back and forth to those doctor's appointments and her having medical issues, you deserve to have the full medical history for your child to be able to give the doctors so that they understand fully how to help her, how to treat her, and how to heal her. Mr. and Ms. Strong, I was fascinated by your testimony today. And I will say this. If you are going to continue having threesomes and continue having a sexual relationship together, you need to do so safely. Don't bring anything in your house in your attempt to control a man that can kill you. That's woman to woman. I dropped that dime. You can pick it up if you want. <laughs> Court is adjourned. <laughs>